What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and you're watching our SEC football channel. Just finished up watching the Georgia spring game, the G-Day game, and just wanted to kind of give my thoughts on the game, things that I noticed, and just maybe how this game affects how I'm looking at the Georgia Bulldogs heading into 2019, or if it, if it changed any of my opinions or thoughts uh, on this team. We'll start with the quarterback position. Jake Brom didn't look very good in this game. Uh, I think you really can tell how good this secondary is going to be for Georgia. Uh, I don't think it was all on Jake Fromm, but he did not have a great game. Uh, didn't just didn't didn't look all that great in this one. That doesn't concern me. I think that we know what we're going to get, what we're going to get out of Jake Fromm. Uh, so that was not really a big deal um, looking at this spring game. But I tell you what, Stetson Bennett looked really really good. I mean, he looked like. He could be coming for Jake Fromm's job. I was really, really impressed with him. Uh, just an unbelievable game. And, and just the the velocity on his throws, the, the tight spirals, the accuracy. I mean, he just looked like a really, really good quarterback. I was not expecting that. I hadn't really seen the kid play. Uh, so that really jumped out at me. Um, and again, I think they may have their quarterback of the future. I know he's not really got a lot of hype. It's not like a Justin Fields back there, but... Again, I was really impressed with him. Uh, I think Jake Fromm, though, will be the guy, uh, no doubt about it. And again, we've seen him in big games. We know what he can do. And uh, I think Jake Fromm still clearly has this quarterback job, uh, and he will be the starter. Uh, we'll start, stick with the offense. The run game is going to be great. Uh, they have so many running backs. Both uh, both teams just were lining them up there and, and just getting really, really big plays on the ground. And a lot of that is also because of the offensive line. I think Georgia might have the best offensive line in college football. I really do. Uh, they've got veterans there. They've got a lot of talent. They are really, really good up front. And you add that offensive line with the backs that they have, uh, Georgia, I think, has a chance to have the best running game in all of college football in 2019. They lost a lot of uh, talent at receiver, but it looked like they were going to be fine there. They had guys step up in this game, played pretty well. Uh, so I'm not really concerned too much there. Offensively, I think Georgia is going to be uh, probably a little bit better than they were last year, uh, but they're going to be fine. Defensively, I thought their secondary was just so good in this game. Talked about it uh, a second ago with Jake Fromm. I don't think it was necessarily him. I think it was the secondary. They were really, really good in this game. There were hardly ever open receivers down the field. Uh, you know, they, they forced them to do a lot of little short underneath throws and things like that. But when you, you were going down the field, at least the first team defense, uh, there was very, very little room to throw the football. Now, the, there was a, definitely a, a gap going from the first team defense to second team defense, talking about the secondary. Um, you know, there were some open receivers when you look at the second team defense. But this first team defense, they had it locked down uh, in the secondary. Really, really impressed there. Defensive line, uh, they definitely lost the battle to the offensive line. Is that because the offensive line is that good? Or is the defensive line, do they need some work there? That's something worth worth uh, noting, but I think it's mostly because of the offensive line. Again, uh, I came into this spring thinking Georgia might have the best offensive line in college football, uh, and, and the linebackers really couldn't tell a whole lot from them in this game. Uh, but yes, I, I, that's what I probably came away with the most, uh, was that the offensive line and the secondary on defense. Those were the two groups that stood out to me. And again, I think they're among the best maybe in the country, both on the offensive line and in the secondary. So that's the bright spot for Georgia. Uh, so did this game change my opinion of Georgia? Not really, because I already kind of thought that. Uh, like I said, coming into the spring, I already thought Georgia probably had uh, the best offensive line in the SEC. Already thought they maybe had the best secondary in the SEC. You know, Florida's got a really good one. LSU's got a really good one. Alabama's got a really good one. Uh, but Georgia is right up there with those teams. And uh, I think you saw that here in this spring game. So, yeah, I didn't really come away from this spring game feeling any differently about this Georgia team. I still think they're right there among the top four. I think they're one of the top three teams in the country, along with Alabama and Clemson. Now, does that mean I'm going to pick them to go to the playoffs? I don't know, because just because they're one of the best teams doesn't necessarily mean they're going to get there. They could slip up and lose a game during the regular season. They could lose to Alabama and potentially in the SEC championship. And uh, if you've got two losses, you're probably not going to get into the college football playoffs unless you're a conference champion. Uh, so 
just because they are, in my opinion, one of the top teams in the country with their schedule, that doesn't automatically mean that they're going to be a playoff team. And it's just going to, we're going to have to see how it plays out. You know, if this team could go undefeated in the regular season, lose a close game to Alabama in the SEC championship, I think they're probably in. Uh, or maybe they beat Alabama in the SEC championship. I think they can definitely compete with Alabama. They've shown that the last two years. Uh, they've come close, and so maybe this is the year that they break through and they beat Alabama. Uh, but, you know, I think this is team is, is on a short list of teams that can win a national championship in 2019. And once again, this spring game did nothing to make me think any differently. I would have liked to have seen Jake Fromm play a little bit better, but again, it was just a spring game. And uh, I think it really just shows you the strength of this defense in the secondary. So I'd love to get your thoughts. What did you notice in this spring game? What were your takeaways? Maybe... There was something that I missed uh, that, that you saw a little bit differently or whatever the case may be. Let me know down in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching this video and stay tuned for more here on the SG1 Sports SEC Football Channel.